Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Misnia Media tutorial, we're going to be learning how to add a freeze frame effect in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. You'll see I already have a project open with a clip of my buddy Mitchell Rose performing. He's a super cool guy, and I'll put a link to his stuff in the description. You should go check him out. Uh, you'll see I have this marker in the timeline, which is where I want to freeze on this exciting frame of high energy performance here. There's a couple different ways to go through adding a freeze frame. The first one they're gonna go over is the one that I normally use, where you make sure your clip is selected in the timeline, you go up to the clip menu, go to video options, I'm gonna insert a frame hold segment. And this basically inserts a clip of this still image where your playhead is in the timeline. So you see we have this new clip right here and it's ripple edited the clip to the right down the timeline. So whenever we play this again, we'll see it plays through some and then we get a freeze frame right there. And then it just starts playing again. So that's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is to make sure that this clip is selected again. Go up to clip, video options, add frame hold. And what this will do is it will just cut the clip at this point and have this whole part to the right of the playhead be the still image. And then to the left, it'll still play normally. So how this differs from the other one is the other one would create a new clip in between these two, which would have the still image, and then continue playing the rest of the clip afterwards. So let's see how this looks. Video options, add frame hold. You see it split the clip for us. We hit home to go back to the beginning, space bar to play, and we'll see it plays, and there it is. And that's the end of that. You know, you could fade it out if you wanted to. Very dramatic. So those are the two easiest ways of creating a freeze frame in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. I hope that you learned something in this tutorial, or at least found it enjoyable. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you disliked it, give it a dislike. Once again, I'm Theo with Meissner Media. Eat your vegetables and have a great day.